Welcome there guys to round number five on the schedule here at North Wilkesboro and well talk, Let's talk about the schedule light quick um, This season has not been off to the very best start that we we have really wanted it to so with us on the move to the 2015 season with it just around the corner we are going to a 2015 season instead of it being the season 18 it will be the 19th season of the sony cup series but will just be called as the 2015 season of the sony cup series since it will be an all-year thing and um we'll find out if we'll have a chase and all that and mod later on down the road but this season it's going to be only 10 um races and so now it's just gonna be like season 13 and with everyone rushing because the championship is just down the road now we got North Wilkesboro, Cirrus Point, um, South Boston, Decatur, Zenjoltis, and Washington DC for the final races and let's talk about next season a little bit since that is the main talk here um, I have limited down the mod for that in the, for next season down to the 1998 cars the 2003 cars and the 2007 cars those are the three I'm really looking at right now and um, I might do the 2015 um, gen 6 cars but that car set lags a lot for me and the original cars like these they don't really lag at all for me so the 98 the 03 and the 07 car set is what I'm really looking at for the all year long car set and um well i think it's gonna be an exciting season when we get to that but we gotta finish off this one here and 10 races pretty much only half a race left half a season left to go and jacob hart the um the two-time champion back-to-back -back champion he is looking really good to have a chance to have back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back championships. He's one of them guys up there fighting for the championship. He's the 500 winner for this season as well. He's on the pole alongside is Eric Powers. Another news headlines here before we get back to, get to the start of the race here. Three guys got kicked out of the series here, and it was because of inactivity. They signed up and did not comment on any of the races this season. Trent Togger, Zeke Marley... And um, Barney Taylor never commented on a race. So I went back and checked on it. And I thought there was more people that didn't comment on the races. But um, it was apparently just them three. So they're not in the series anymore for the rest of the season. And um, so, yeah, 40 laps of racing here at North Wilkesboro. Another night, another night race. It's our third night race in a row. And it's our fourth night race of the season so far. Let's go ahead and get us down to the starting lineup. Before we get underway in racing, Chris Washer in the number 22, he did not get rolling and could not get his car started. So he will not get no points this race if he cannot get back out there because his pit stall was further back behind the line. So he will not get counted for starting this race if he can't get going. Jacob Hart, the pole sitter, green flag is out for him and the rest of the field. First lap completed, Jacob Hart, the two-time reigning champion, leads us to the green here. Mason Powers, the rookie, right on his back bumper here, peeking up high, trying to make a run up here. This track is really awesome to watch racing here. Look at this on the outside, rookie Eric Powers, 
trying to get a run up there, but Luke Martin fighting back on the inside here. And it looks like Alan Cavanaro will get back going. The field did get split up there. We do have a wreck right there. Jake Bassinger and Jesse Turner. Their good runs this season so far is going to end right there. Caution flag is out. And they're going to get back going. Cavanaro has a piece of it there as well. Um, take it apart, let it back to the start finish line. Um, so let's go ahead and get our replay. Looking at it here, um, right here looks like Sean Harpel is going to get into Alan Cavanaro, the Rockingham winner, right there down in the basket And I think Cavanaro kept it going. Yes, he did. And Zach Fitzwater, who's had nothing but not really good luck this season, turned him around. Jesse Turner was innocent bystander there who's been running really, really well in the standings. I think he's second in the points overall. Um, and Bassinger, he's pretty good as well up there in the points. So guys that's up there high in the point standings, not the way they wanted to do in this round here. Apparently, um, after the caution flag had been thrown, um, something happened right here between ZJ Curtis and Zachary Fitzwater. Um, we had an incident down here with these guys. Um, looked like Fitzwater and them was both trying to get the pit road here. And oh no, DJ Curtis, he was he was trying to stay out. And the 43 was trying to come in. And Curtis trying to get his call or car turned around. Apparently these cars have reverse. I didn't I didn't think I didn't think race cars have reverse on their cars. Oh well, but. Curtis, um, he got some hood damage there. Get ready to go back racing here at North Wilkesboro for round number five. Jacob Hart really been on top of the world in the series here as of late. He has done an amazing job in his career. What's really turned Jacob Hart's career around ever since he started racing in the Sony Cup Series. Um, season seven, he started racing in the Sony Cup Series like full time and the season 12 Daytona 500 win um, was really where he got it going and turned it around for his career. He slowly has been progressing up the field. Season 12, he drove that under funded team for the 19 team. And that was like a whole year ago. And what a year, a whole year of a difference makes for this um, driver here of Jacob. Um, he's really been climbing the ladder in equipment rank. Um, in his career ever since then up the season all the way up to season 14 he got two wins that season got a win in season 15 and it just slowly kept progressing and in season 16 the very next season afterwards um, he ended up winning his first championship and he's done an amazing job that entire season and <clears throat> With um, him coming off and proving that he was not a flute champion in the chase format. He came off and won in a non-chase uh, format in Season 17. He's done an amazing job the last few seasons. He's been a real good driver. But Charles Sanford, who has really slacked on his competition, Season 12 was the turning point in his career. Where after Season 12, it was really a disappointing career for Charles Sanford. We know him as the Season 3 rookie, and ever since Season 12, he's been really sliding down the ranks, and just like many veterans of the series, um, it has been told that he might need to just retire because he has not been doing much for his career. Chris Washer and Michael White lap cars get in the way for the field here. I don't know if something happened. I don't think nothing has happened, but checking further back in the field here, Henry Kavanaugh, Jordan Newman, Trying to battle here, but Richard Johnson getting aggressive here. The season 14 North Wilkesboro winner. He ended up coming off and <clears throat> winning out at Las Vegas in one of the worst races ever. Um, at least we're getting some green flag laps in here today. That's what's the positive part about this whole entire race. Um, just tried on Henry Kavanaugh here the last time and he couldn't get by him and he's underneath him again and Henry's going to hold off for that position there. Further back here, Mason Powers underneath Luke Martin. Mason's, Mason's 12th in the standings for his rookie of the year. He's doing really well. He's battling Henry Kavanaugh for the rookie of the season. Lupierre! Oh my goodness! There he goes! I was just talking about how good he was doing and there's Eric Burton 
and well just hard racing there while racing it back to the start finish line Luke Martin had a piece of that as well caution flag is out Jacob Hart holds on to the lead whoa Jacob Hart got hit by Sanford at the end there and wow Jacob Hart must have got on the brakes a lot earlier than Charles Sanford did when they crossed the line and Hart got right side damage due to it here it is again um, right there at the line, you can see Hart break there, but Sanford didn't, and he rear-ended Hart into the wall. I don't know how that's going to do for him, but let's go replay up the caution flag. Mason Powers, he's been having an amazing start to his career. Um, he came runner-up to the two-time consecutive champion of Jacob Hart at the 500, and he's been really on a good roll this season so far. He sits 12th in the standings with only about five races to go after this race. Um, Mason, um, uh, might need to come back after that one. Getting ready to go back racing here at North Wilkesboro. Jacob Park has been the best car this weekend. And, well, Charles Sanford's been the next best. He's right behind him, but can Charles Sanford do anything with Jacob Hart? I don't think Jacob, not Jacob, but Charles Sanford. It's been a long while since Sanford has actually won a race in his career you gotta go all the way back to I think it is um season 12 was the or season 11 was the, maybe the last time I'm looking back here in the winning book and he's actually going for the lead as I'm looking for his last win look at Sanford he goes on by and leads for the first time in his career in like seven to eight seasons <laughs> Charles Sanford that's something he really needs right there he needs a good run and I still can't find Charles Sanford's last win. Um, I'll find it here in a second. Okay, I ended up finding his last win. Jacob Hart's getting shuffled because he got up high. Kyle Collins, Henry Kavanaugh, Richard Johnson going on by there. Jordan Newman, the rookie, doing a good job as well with Eric Powers getting away there. But Charles Sanford, his last win came back in Season 12 of Race 6. And I am not too sure of what that race was. I can't remember what that race was. Um, but Sanford all over the back bumper of Chris Washer. Chris Washer, one of the season nine rookies. But another wreck, I think. And caution flag is out again. Um, so Sanford leads the field again. Looks like Dylan Young and Noah Hart is going to get together right here. It's just similar to the... Oh, no, no, no. Noah Hart got loose. He got loose slid up the track into Burton and you just saw it right there that was that was kind of crazy you don't usually see guys lose it on their own I'm trying to get another view of it here um yeah Noah Hart just got really loose went up the track bounced into Burton and around he went I think Dylan Young might have tapped Noah Hart in the back end and shot him up the track into Burton and got him loose and spun him around um, but we're gonna have to get another view. On board Dylan Young. I really do think he got the back bumper of Noah Hart and shot him up into Young. Let's see. I, I don't think he did. Right there at the end, he clipped him, but I don't think Young had a had any bumper on him there. Looking at it again, I really can't tell. I really want to know, but it's hard to tell you can see him on the back bumper there yeah I think Young might have gotten the back bumper apart shot him up in a Burton and got him loose and Young just clipped him around there I think that's kind of what happened I'm I'm curious when it comes to them kind of things guys I just want to know well we did end up missing the start there but we don't have that many laps to go um, we're gonna check through this field here um, not many oh god James Orfog shot way up high there but, yeah, some guys are shuffling back here. You can see Jacob Hart. He's down to 7th. He was really strong when he was out front, but he is slowly losing the ground here. Kyle Collins and Richard Johnson pushing their way forward here. But Charles Sanford is on suit to getting his first Sony Cup Series win in six seasons. So, Sanford in this big Kmart um, Ford is looking on suit to finally get his 11th career victory. Sanford is one of the few drivers to ever get over 10 wins in his career. And 
really after season 12 when he got that um, 10th win, um, Sanford has never really done anything. He's done terrible. I mean, despite the season 16 um, season where you had only 30 guys in there, Charles Sanford has not finished any higher than 25th in the points um, ever since um, season 12. Um, if there was a 42 car field, he always finished lower than 25th in the points. Sanford is actually doing really well this season and is high in the points chart and he could probably contend for the championship if he is just consistent and Sanford it is actually quite great to call Sanford um, as one of the guys leading the race because Charles Sanford back in his career he used to be a championship contender and battle for wins a lot from season 3 to season 12 in 9 seasons he got 10 wins so Sanford was always a, do always a guy that saw victory lane very often but he has not saw victory lane in over an entire year and caution flag is out so that means the race is done just like Las Vegas and Charles Sanford, he is going to be crowned the winner here at North Wilkesboro and he will get his 11th career victory here today. Charles Sanford, he's waited an entire year for this. I mean, it's been ever since all the way back in the beginning part of the year of 2014. Now it's the beginning part of 2015 and a whole year later and he's finally a winner in the Sony Cup Series but the caution flag is out and the race is going to end early so let's go ahead and get a replay of why the race is going to end under caution okay so they're racing really hard back here they're three wide I don't know if it's going to start up here oh it does I think yeah right here Ashley Mace um I haven't really talked about her all that much this season I haven't talked about her that much at all in, in the last few years especially battling for wins Turn Stephen Pollard, who I've not mentioned in a a long time in the Sony Cup Series. He's the runner-up for Season 6. Pollard got turned around. Vince Allen, he went on through it. But Nick Perkle's got a piece of it. And there's Stephen Jenkins, a.k.a. William Duncan. I really wish um, Duncan would have just signed up as William Duncan instead of Stephen Jenkins, but... Um, and then Curtis ended up hitting the wall once again right there with the 97 of Bassinger. It's not been a good day for Bassinger. Neither has Turner as he got a piece of it again. Um, Michael White, the main guy we're focused on right now. Um, he just randomly starts blowing up right there, but it's all over. And I would like to say that this race wasn't that bad to me, really, but we could have used a lot less cautions, but... We did get some good green flag laps running here today. And an old veteran of the series, an old time guy, Charles Sanford, been in the series a long time now. His 15th, se his 15th season in the Sony Cup Series. Well, I wouldn't say his 15th season. It's, it's his 14th year, uh, his 14th year, 14th season of being in the Sony Cup Series. He skipped out of season 17. And Sanford comes back, and look at him now. Charles Sanford, we thought he was going to retire and hang up the helmet after last season. Because, he, I mean, he's, besides season 16, he's never finished inside the top 25 in points ever since then. Never even came close to winning a race. But look at him here. The 66 Ford, he's up there in the point standings, too. Sanford has a good shot in the first time in like two years of battling for a championship.